Hey everybody, Thomas Vanderkin here from the Vanderkin Verse. Back again, I got another unboxing video. This time it's the Lenovo Think Phone by Motorola. Okay, so the Lenovo Think Phone by Motorola is the first phone from Lenovo designed specifically to work with our ThinkPad products. That's why we called it the Think Phone. Obviously, Lenovo bought the uh, Motorola business back in 2014 from Google. So we had the Motorola business. Lenovo has been making think phone. I mean, making phones. Lenovo branded around the world, but this is the Lenovo Think Phone by Motorola. Really cool product. So let's go ahead and open it up. I'll talk a little bit about it. So uh, it's got a lot of features in it that make it specifically uh, compatible for enterprise use. So for example, it's not ranged at any of the carriers. Uh, it's sold exclusively either direct through the Motorola website or through uh, B2B channels. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this out. This is just gonna be the marketing material, the case. Uh, comes with a little plastic case, SIM popper, all that built into it. So here's a SIM popper, thin plastic case, marketing materials. Let's go ahead and look at the phone. So the industrial design or the ID of the phone is gonna match great with the Think uh, Pad product. So let's open this up. So here it's got a really cool kind of carbon fiber looking back, which would go great with any Lenovo Think Pad. It's got the Lenovo Think Phone that looks just like the Think Pad design, the iconic red dot, 50 megapixel camera front and rear. Uh, flash, you know, depth sensing. Um, here on the side, it's got the volume rocker and the power button. Fingerprint reader built into it. Uh, this is what's really going to make it distinctive is this red button, which uh, can be programmed to do uh, any um, functionality, open an app, uh, tap once, tap twice. We're going to get into more of that later. USB-C charging and um, the uh, speakers on the bottom of the microphone. So, uh, like I said, we'll keep going on this. I want to check out all the rest of the packaging, but there's so many cool features that make this work great with your ThinkPad. First one and foremost, coming right out of the box, is going to be a 68 watt charger that will charge not only the Think Phone, but also the ThinkPad. So, your 68 watts. USB-C, works for your ThinkPhone, super charging, uh, but also put it on your ThinkPad and it's going to charge your ThinkPad also, standard USB-C uh, cable. And I think that's going to be it for the box, let's just make sure, yeah, that's it. So really cool features coming out of the box, but next thing we need to do is go ahead and install the software on my ThinkPad hook the two together, show you some of the great features about this device. I'll show you the OLED screen. We'll talk about the processor. It's got the Qualcomm uh, 8, 8 uh, Gen 1 processor. But let's go ahead, we'll boot it up, we'll hook it to my ThinkPad, and I'll show you some of the cool features. Okay, I'm back. I've spent some time. I've set up the ThinkPhone, paired it with my uh, ThinkPad here from Lenovo. Uh, there's a quick QR code, you scan it, set it, let it give it a couple options to, so you can sync between the two devices and it's working really great. So let me show you a few things that are really amazing. So one of them is the ability to copy and paste back and forth between the two uh, devices. So for example, if I open up the camera, just take a picture here of this surrounding. Let's say I'm doing a PowerPoint, I come down here, I do a control V in the PowerPoint and here comes the uh, picture right into my um, right into my uh, <laughs> right into my PowerPoint so that's pretty amazing back and forth between the two and you can do the same thing if you take a screenshot on your laptop it automatically is available on the clipboard and ready for your phone so that's one really cool to cool solution copying back and forth another one is you bring up the ready for app on your laptop, hover over the connected phone, it automatically pairs as soon as you get close. You can do app streaming onto your laptop. So for example, here's all my apps that are on my phone now appearing as apps available to me in my, um, 
on my laptop. So I could run, you know, if I wanted to do American Airlines app, which I don't have on my PC, I could run it right here on my PC, even though it's actually, at this moment, being run from my phone. Pretty cool. So let's, uh, and all my apps are available for that. Another thing, you hover over it, uh, use your phone as a desktop. So built into Android is the ability to have a desktop-like environment on your PC. So you could run this as a sandbox or something like that and just have it running on your PC. Pretty cool. Let's close that one. Let's try another one. You could mirror your phone. This is pretty interesting. So you can uh, control your phone from your PC. So. This should work. As I'm looking at my phone, you can see if I scroll up and down, I'm actually controlling my phone with the mouse button on my PC. Pretty good. That would be great for like educational purposes, things like that. Let's try another one built into this. And they're all right here in this menu, which is really handy. So uh, view your phone as mobile. So this allows you to just use um, your phone as a mobile device. So this is what's on my phone showing up on my PC. So basically it's just a mobile phone on my PC. Great for that. All my messages, if I get an incoming call, uh, anything happening on my mobile phone, I could use uh, my PC as that. Last one, webcam. This is pretty awesome. So it turns your phone into a webcam, automatically turns on the camera here, and then uh, it's running. So then if I open up an app let's try going to uh, a meeting I'll start a meeting meet now start this up if I join now this meeting you can see uh, I can use my camera on my phone which is much better than the camera built into my laptop so let's turn my camera on oops my default there's my wife, thank you Beth. That's the camera built into my uh, laptop, which isn't super sharp, but I can turn on and use instead the camera built into my um, phone as my device. So let's scroll down here, find the camera, switch from integrated camera to Motorola Ready 4. Should bring up this camera as my new device. So let's see if I set this up on a, a tripod how much sharper that is than the integrated camera. So let's, just for comparison, let's show you this as uh, me at, on my camera. And then I'll switch to the integrated camera so you can see the difference. There's the integrated camera, just to give you a, a difference. So really get this super high, powerful camera. You can use either the front facing or the rear facing camera. Or finally, the uh, solution is you can drag files back and forth between your laptop. So this here, now it opened up, uh, uh, you know, this window. So I can see all the files that are on my phone actually on my laptop and I can drag files from my laptop over to my phone or back and forth from my phone to my laptop. So I know I went through a lot there. I tried to go really fast, but there's always really cool features. The look of it, the feel of it. It's got this button here. I didn't show you this, but you can set this button up to be anything you want. So you can tap it once. And uh, it should, <laughs> if I do it right, it opens up any app. I just chose Outlook as an app. And then you can do a quick tap and have it uh, open up another feature. So here it opened up the um, Ready4 app by double tapping. You can use that for things like um, push to talk. So if you want to use the Teams push to talk feature that's coming out later this year, you can build that right into this. So it's great for, um, great for push to talk also. A lot of cool features. Really enjoying the phone. Feels great, looks great, but mostly it's the integration f with your uh, ThinkPad, which is amazing. So I know it's a long video. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Appreciate your patience. Check out the ThinkPhone by Motorola.